Hey, this is Kyle with ConvertKit. In this video, we're going to talk about landing pages, but if you have an existing website set up, don't tune out just yet because this video is specifically for you. I wanna talk about how landing pages can work for you if you have a website set up already. And in many cases, you don't necessarily need a landing page. You may just use forms, but remember that in order to put a form on a page, there has to be a page there. So in order to put a form on a page of your website and have some other content with it, you have to set up that page. So landing pages can come in as a really nice complement to your website and fill in some gaps that will save you some time, maybe even save you some money if you're paying someone to develop your website. And it's really quick and easy to set these up. So we're just gonna take a look at a few examples that I've set up here. And again, these are just a few examples of the things you could do with landing pages. You can get really creative with this, and hopefully that's reflected here in some of these examples. The first one is just a general sign up to your email page. And this is something you could use, for example, on social media, some other places where people's attention spans are not quite as high as just sending them to your homepage. You can also be much more specific so in other words, this text here could say something about Instagram or about Facebook or Twitter, wherever you are posting this page. And you could even make multiple pages like this that are specifically targeted at those audiences that pull them into your list and then move them forward to maybe eventually viewing your website, seeing what offers you have, other things like that. And so this is a great way to get engaged and make some personal pages that don't take a lot of time to set up. Something else I've done is my newsletter is typically about photography related things. That's something that I do on the side, but I also noticed whenever all of the pandemic started and all of that, a lot of people started working from home and a lot of people had a lot of questions. And so I set up this page that's just a how to work from home and uh, I set up a quick sequence that basically goes through some things that I do that I've been relaying to people as they ask me questions. I created a sequence for that and included some tips for how to work from home and those kind of things. So I quickly set up this page. It was really fast and easy to get set up. I didn't have to create a whole new website for it. I just made this and put it out there to see what kind of attention it would draw and see if I wanted to expand on that potentially in the future. I did the same thing with a podcast that I'm working on with a friend. So we decided to create a whole podcast called Commuteless about working from home. And so we built this landing page just to get some initial interest, see if people were excited about the show coming and all of that kind of thing. So this was great. It was easy to set up and easy to just test out these ideas. That's really the main uh, the main thing I'm trying to communicate here is if you have ideas that you're wanting to test out and you want to see if that will attract a crowd, then you could just share these pages on social and even with your existing mailing list and say, hey, there's this new thing I'm working on. If you want to hear more about that, check out this page that has more details about it. And you can start to generate some interest before you invest a lot of time into adding new pages to your site, adding uh, maybe a, a whole new website that you have to create. You can test out those ideas here through ConvertKit and start to get some feedback through your email list. Now this very last example is just an example of a webinar. And I think this is one of the most useful ways to use landing pages if you have an existing website. So the other thing to take into account is not just the time it takes to make a new page, but also how long do you actually need that page to exist? So for example here, this is a sign up for a webinar to register for it. This page took me less than five minutes to set up and convert kit, save it, share out the link, get all of that set up and ready. This kind of page might take a lot more time for you to put on your website and you might not use it in a week or a few days or however long it is until this event actually begins. So with ConvertKit, you can set up these landing pages really easily, share those out and get people interested in something without needing to go into your site and create a new page. Now, one thing you might be thinking about is domain. How do I make things look on brand for me? Those kind of things. 
If you go to your account settings within ConvertKit and you go to custom domains over here on the left, you can add custom domains to ConvertKit. And you can add multiple of these. So it doesn't have to specifically just be one domain. For example, in my account, I have three custom domains set up because I have three different concepts I'm working on and I wanted to test those out with different pages. A custom domain basically just gives your pages a better URL to look at. So if we go back to one of these other pages that I shared, for example, this one, you'll notice this is using one of our built-in domains that we give you. So you'll always get a .ck.page domain, but you may not want to use that domain specifically. And so you can change that using a custom domain. I've done that here, for example, with this page. So I have the site uh, pages.betterfocus.co. And so this is actually a subdomain of betterfocus.co. I'm not sure if I'll ever do anything with that domain specifically, but I set this up so that if I ever want to, pages.betterfocus.co is using ConvertKit's landing pages and betterfocus.co is there for me to use in the future if I decide to use it for something specifically. Adding a custom domain is super quick and easy as well. So if you just click add a domain here in this custom domain section, you can add in something here. So if you want to do that pages.yoursite.com, which is what I highly recommend, since you already have an existing website set up, you have a domain already. And you don't want to use that same domain for ConvertKit landing pages, but if you use this pages.yourwebsite.com, then you're creating a subdomain, which means you're not taking over that main domain of your website. So for example, for this example, I'm actually going to just call it page, since I've already set up pages before. Uh, so I'm going to say page.commutesless.fm. And then I'm going to choose a certain landing page to be my homepage. I'll choose that podcast landing page. So this is just one example of how you could set this up. This page you're choosing here is basically looking for a page. If anybody just shows up on this URL, normally you would have a slash whatever the number of the page is or whatever the title of the page is after that. But if somebody goes to this domain by itself, where do they end up? Once you add this domain in, you'll see some records down here that you'll need to add to your domain provider's DNS records. There's a lot more information about that at help.convertkit.com. I won't go into detail about adding those right now, but it, as soon as you add those, we'll verify that domain. Once it's verified, you can use this domain anytime you create a new landing page and it will just create a new slash whatever the name of the page is. So this is a really handy way to set up some pages quickly and use them even if you have an existing website. And I hope I've been able to show that here. Again, this is definitely not the end of creative ideas for using landing pages. And you might as well use some. They're built into your ConvertKit account. So why not go try one out, see if something works. And then if it's working and it's doing well, maybe build out a full page on your website. But you may have avoided a lot of difficulty in getting something set up that you may not need to set up. You can try out some ideas quickly and easily using these landing pages. And hopefully I've been able to show that. If you're already using landing pages paired with your website and you have some other creative ideas that I didn't show here, let us know in the community. We would love to hear more of those awesome ideas and get a discussion going about how landing pages can be used in really, really awesome ways because there's a lot of potential here. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.